I don't know what happened. <laughs> Talk about glitching out, man. Such a glitchy program. All right, I'm back. Um, I got booted from my own live stream. <laughs> and nothing seems to be working properly. Uh, anyways, I... Hey. I'm live. No, I'm not live anymore. I'm recording. This is a pre-recorded video. I'm going to upload it and I'm going to send it out there for you guys. But I absolutely was trying my best to do a live stream. And I was thrown out of my own live twice. Um, had to restart. Thrown out of the live again. I don't know what's going on. Facebook's got problems. But I'm not even going live from SFF Facebook. I'm going live on stream. This is dumb. I'm about ready to call it quits. I'm about ready to throw in the towel. Hey folks, Lester here. And uh, thank you for joining me today on a video. Listen, man, I just feel so bad for Justin. Um, he and I are friends. We talk on occasion. But lately, I, I tell you what, you can just, well, you can see the frustration on his face. You can hear it in his voice. And it breaks my heart, not just for his channel, but so many others who've been so loyal to faith, uh, Facebook for so long. And now that Facebook's going through some kind of an identity crisis, they are the ones that are turning their backs on all of us. Uh, and it's not just us. It's uh, Here's the channels that you guys know. I'm trying to find a place to stand out of the wind. But, uh, you know, Arms Family had their issues with Facebook for a while. It took them forever. They had to find an outside, an outsider to uh, get them back. Facebook couldn't help them. And then of course, Sean over at Keeping It Dutch, Jason at Cog Hill, and so many others. Sheesh, we've seen some of the big, big channels like Asher House, it's just ridiculous, y'all. It's just ridiculous. And what, what breaks my heart the most and what hurts me the most is I feel like it's kind of like a betrayal type of thing. I don't care if Facebook sees this because it is it's betrayal because we've been with Facebook since the beginning. Uh, the beginning of Facebook Watch, which was Facebook's version of YouTube, if you will. And we've had an account and a business set up with Facebook since 2017. All of 17 to 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23. That's seven darn years of being loyal to one platform. Now, of course, we dilly daddle over into YouTube, but our channel of choice, our platform of choice has always been Facebook. And they've been so good to us until the last year and a half or so. And it seems like they are just, here's what I think it is. I think, I think, I don't know this for a fact, but I feel like Facebook is so micromanaged that they probably have no idea. The powers that be probably have no idea what's going on with all the micromanagement and then the different, comp the different sides of Facebook don't communicate with each other. Anyway, I don't mean to get on some kind of a rant. I'm just so frustrated and I see other creators are equally frustrated and I want you all to know something. Talking about loyalty, it will not be I'm a survivor or Longhorn Lester's who ends up leaving you. It'll be Facebook that ends up leaving us. And you can't get a hold of anybody. They don't return messages. They don't return emails. And it's just the hardest. Oh, my God. Let me just find a way to move on. I'm going to take a breath and just close my eyes for a second. And just let's just let's just move on. <laughs> you like my shirt? It's so bright yellow. Oh, who's behind me? Oh, my goodness gracious. Get down. Get down. You cannot jump on me. Why is everyone jumping on me? For? Oh, boy. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Ernie, don't even think about it. You need to stop. You need to stop looking at yourself. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> here it comes. Here he comes again. Okay, here. There. 
<laughs> do you need to kiss me like that? Oh, goodness gracious. I have so much love right now. I have so much love. There. Let's all look at the camera. Everyone smile. Get some more bodies in here. There's more. There's a lot of bodies over here. It's, uh, it's nice to feel love. And you cannot come to the sanctuary and not walk out of here with a big old smile on your face and just a full heart. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. Okay, already. Okay, already. Okay, you're good. You're a good boy. Okay, you're a good boy. Look at all the camera hogs, though. We have a lot of camera hogs here. This is ridiculous. Let's go look at Ivy. All right, we are back on day number two. Day number two to work on Ivy. I've uh, brought some meds with me. Jamie could not come, so it's going to be me against the world. And uh, what I'm going to do is bring Ivy inside the stall, I think, where I can work on her. Look at Cornholio. Corny, he's... He thinks he's something. But uh, I'm going to bring Ivy inside the stall. I may have to let everybody inside the stall um, to work on her. Sweetie, can you come over here and let me work on you? It'll be easier if you're in the stall. She feels better today than she felt yesterday. You saw yesterday how just, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind moving your ear, sweetie, so I can look at Ivy? Yeah, she just wasn't doing real well yesterday. But today she seems to be more. At least her tail's moving around, so she seems happy. She's sitting up. Ivy, can I look at you, sweetie? Oh, poor Ivy. She's so old, y'all. It's hard when you get to be that age. Right, Ima Jean? You're not, you're not, I'm not that old. I know you're not. You're not near as old as Ivy. Oh, my gosh. You can see how gingerly Ivy's walking on that front left leg right there that's what we're going to be working today i'm trying to walk her real easily into the stall come on sweetie come on my love oh beverly hush it up come on sweet girl come on let's win the stall hey may you want to help me all right so we got her taken care of megan and ellie come out to help and we got her all taken care of she's all done up now we've been medicated and wrapped it so we had to drain it yesterday, and Jamie got all that taken care of. We let it drain overnight. And so today we've come back and we put some peroxide on there along with some iodine. And we, then we wrapped it, not tight. And so we wanted to be able to breathe, so I only put a couple of strips around it. So we can keep draining if it wants to, it can breathe if it needs to. And then the iodine is gonna help her, hopefully with any kind of infection. And now, it's time to brush some of this thick hair off of her. Don't forget, she's a mammoth donkey. Mammoth, like woolly mammoth, which describes the how thick and woolly this little girl is. Now, she's not an American donkey like Dan. Dan's an American donkey. He's nice and slick, and it's going to get even slicker over the course of the summer. Uh, but our other donkeys are more mammoth than anything else. So that's not really the size of donkey as much as it is the hair type. So you've all heard of the woolly mammoth. Oh my gosh, did y'all see Trixie peeking in? Trixie, what are you doing? Are y'all trying to peek in here? Y'all trying to peek? Well, but uh, I worry about Ivy, she's so old. And you just wanna be close to her. And even though she's not with us, like at Longhorn Lester's, I don't know if at some point we should try to get her over there. My worry is just the fact that we don't know what's gonna happen with our grass this summer. If our grass is not able to sustain anything, then it's one thing to dry lot the horses, but you don't wanna to have to dry lot the donkeys also. And then you'd hate to have to bring them back over here and do ex extra transporting if you don't need to. So there's a lot of questions right now. We have so many questions, but Anyway, as far as Ivy's leg goes, she's going to be fine, friends. She's going to be okay. And I gave her a snack, some stuff to eat. And everyone's so jealous right now. Everyone's so jealous of Ivy. And that's okay. It's all about Ivy today. Well, no visit to the sanctuary is complete without swinging by and saying hi to Cornholio. Corny, you look very... He looks so... 
My goodness, buddy, you look so ragged. Look at him, buddy, where's all your feathers? He looks horrible. Corny, I love you, but you do look horrible. Oh my goodness, I'm talking about Corny. He's missing a lot of feathers. I don't know where they're all at. We haven't heard of any attacks in a while. I looking in here and I do see a couple of feathers over there, pretty good sized feathers. And those do look like Cornholio feathers, they do. There's a few in the corner, there's a couple over here. I don't think anything would have got after him. Listen, LE catches everything on video, y'all. He's a he's a pee pat. LE is a pee pat in his own way. He's very pee pat-ish. No one's talking to you, Nate. Um Ellie is very pee paddish in a way, but his pee paddishness comes from. Oh, babe, you're in a dress. Oh, she's in a dress putting out hay. Uh, Ellie, his pee pat comes from cameras. He has cameras mounted all over the darn place, and he watches them like a pee pat. <laughs> and he also has uh, an alert on his camera. Oh, by the way, this run you call that a run is having to be replaced because the hail storm they had was so heavy on top of the tarp that it ended up crushing that's how much the weight of the hell was my friends it crushed the entire thing down so they already have that on order and then they're trying to put together a new one here i don't know what this over here is going to be for i have no idea megan's plans but this is a neat little coop. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, here we go. I'm talking about Ellie and his cameras. He has another one he's installing right there. Sheesh! Oh, my Lord. Really, Beverly? You make all that racket wake everybody up? I'm so sorry y'all were sleeping. Beverly, everyone's trying to take a nap, sweetie. They're all trying to take a nap. It's a midday nap. That's what they want. And you scared everybody, Beverly. You can't be quite so loud, sweetie. Can you be a little bit quieter when you holler at me? Can you be a little bit quieter when you yell at me, okay? So you don't want to bother Corny. No one wants to bother Corny. And we sure don't want to bother our sweet Starla. Or Oki. <laughs> Good. Hello there, Ziggy. Uh, Christmas, you better love Ziggy. Oh boy, who's biting at me? Oh, well, hello. Hello there. Christmas, Christmas, leave Ziggy alone. Ziggy, I'm so sorry. Looky here, everybody. This looks fun. This looks so fun. Come on, try it out. Come here, babies. You guys come try it out. Y'all watch this. This was a gift. Come on over here and play. I want to see you guys play on this thing. Can you show me how to play? Get up on there. Show me how it works. Okay. Oh, pfft. is that how, how do you do it? Whoa, is that how you do it? That's pretty cool. How come she has little horns and she doesn't? Okay, I want to see you guys play on this thing. Come here, look, look it, come here, look it. Looky, looky. All right, y'all get on there and play, come on. Oh my God, they only wanna play with me. You just want to play with me? Okay. I love y'all. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoopsies. 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 All right. Settle down. <laughs> okay. Ziggy, you be sweet to Trixie. Ziggy, don't you poke her in the eye. Ziggy, can you please be nice to Trixie? Please? No. You don't know the meaning of nice. Sorry, Trixie. Just watch your eyes around Ziggy. <laughs> Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.